Welcome back, I'm Jill with The Care For Kitchen and today I'm going to be showing you how to make three cheese twice baked potatoes. You can make these with Havarti, Gruyere, Asiago, or even a white cheddar cheese. So to get started on my baked potato recipe, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash some potatoes. And I'll just use my hands and wash the potatoes under the water, being sure to get off any big chunks of dirt. And then I'll put them in a nine by 13 baking dish and cook them four or five times. The next step is to drizzle some oil over my baked potatoes and then sprinkle with sea salt. Then I'm going to put them into a preheated 400 degree oven for about an hour or until when I put a fork in them, it is soft on the inside. Okay, so I just took my potatoes out of the oven and as you can see when I stick it in, it comes out easily. So these are just right for our twice baked potatoes. I'm gonna let these sit for about 20 minutes and then we can get started. Okay, so my potatoes have had a chance to cool and check out that great skin on the potato. It's like crispy and covered in a little bit of salt. It's perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to just cut my potatoes in half all the way through so that I can just lay them open like this. Now I'm just going to take a spoon and I don't want to go right to the edge. I want to leave a little bit of a buffer and I like to just score around the potato so I know where I want to be and then I can just scoop this out. And then I have this bowl here. I'm just going to toss that into. So you don't want to go all the way down to the skin. You see that there's like a nice little ledge there and you want to have about the same on the bottom. So this potato mixture that we're taking out of the inside, we are going to put some sour cream and some seasoning in there, some cheeses, and then we will put this back into our potatoes. So there, this is the final product of what we want it to look like. And we want it to be thick enough that it can stand on its own. Okay, now you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and take a look at these potatoes. Get an up close version of it and I have some melted butter here. So the next step is I'm going to get a little bit of butter and I'm just going to coat the inside of each one of these potatoes and just kind of quick, just get each one of them. Okay, the next thing I have is a little bit of garlic salt and this is going to add a little bit of flavor, just a real light, touch of garlic salt and now we have the potatoes and so I'm going to add and I'll show you what I'm going to add here I'm going to add these some cheeses and some sour cream to that so I've got some Gruyere and then some Asiago they didn't have Havarti so I'm going to use two to three ounces of both of these so two to three ounces I'm going to need you know maybe up to half of this so that gives you an idea. And then this one, it is, okay, 8.6 ounces. So I don't know, maybe I'll come here or so on there and I'm just going to shred the cheese up. Shred some of this quickly. And you can definitely use some shredded white cheddar, um, something that's a little bit easier to find. Sometimes these cheeses are easier to find than others. All right, so. I've got a little bit more than half of the brick there. And now, I'll just shred some of this Asiago. And there we go, there's our cheese. Okay, so into my potatoes, I am going to add my cheeses. And I'm not going to mash my potatoes yet, because if you over mash your potatoes, then they get gluey and it's no good. So I'm gonna add my cheeses and then the third kind of cheese in here is just some cheddar cheese so i'm going to add two or three ounces of that as well and then i'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt start off with that and add more if i need to i'm going to add a couple teaspoons of onion powder a little bit of pepper and that'll do and then also some sour cream 
And I'm just gonna add a nice scoop here. And then I will just go ahead and mash and mix this at the same time. And I like my twice baked potatoes to have just like a little bit of chunk in them. I don't like them to be too smooth. Okay, and then also some milk, a little bit of milk in here, maybe a third of a cup or half of a cup. If you need some more flavoring in here, you can add a little bit of garlic salt, some more pepper. If you want it a little bit more creamy, you could add a little bit more sour cream. I am going to add just a little bit more milk. So it's a little bit, well, just not so dry. All right, so I'm going to spray a baking sheet here. And you are also going to want to taste test your twice baked potatoes and to make sure they're really good. Mm, those are so good. I'm just going to place my shells here. And there we go. And then just put a drop of potato and you want to put it kind of a heaping mound of potato and we have some extra potato you don't need to do it flush you can put a little bit more in there because we added all of that cheese and sour cream in there and then I'm going to add just a little bit of extra cheese to the top here Okay, I've got all of my potatoes ready to go in the oven, and this is gonna be the perfect size for about eight people. If you had really little potatoes, I would say maybe do two for each person, but this is gonna be perfect for serving eight people. Okay, we're gonna bake them in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So I also am going to be adding some homemade bacon bits to these three cheese potatoes. And this is how you make some homemade bacon bits. The first thing you're going to do is unwrap your pound of bacon. You're gonna need about a pound of raw bacon and then you're just going to slice it into half inch strips. And you actually only need about half of a pound for this recipe, but you can just fry it up and then toss it in eggs or a quiche or just put it on a baked potato another night of the week. Then you're going to add your bacon to a saute pan and you want to saute it for five to seven minutes, stirring occasionally until your bacon bits are golden brown on the edges. Then you can transfer the bacon bits to a plate with a paper towel over it to catch the grease drippings. Here are the twice baked potatoes and they've been cooking for about a half hour in the oven. Now I have some homemade bacon bits that I made just yesterday and I'm going to use these for the topping. We just wanna add five or six of those to each one of the potatoes. And then I wanna put this in the oven and then crisp the bacon up a little bit. You can also use bacon bits like from Costco or some that are pre-made and those work great. I would just do the same thing, just add them to your potatoes and then cook for seven to 10 more minutes just to crisp up that bacon. All right, these are gonna go back in the oven for just a few more minutes. All right, here are my three cheese, twice baked potatoes. These potatoes are perfect for your holiday meal. We just love to serve these alongside with ham. It's a great side dish for a barbecue or any kind of a special family occasion. They're creamy on the inside, loaded with cheese and sour cream and everything that we love on our potatoes. And we hope that your family loves them as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Care for Kitchen. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow me on social media. And we will see you next time. Bye! We love to make these twice baked potatoes at Christmas time or during our Easter, and they are the ultimate potato recipe.